Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be doing something very fun and also nerve wracking. Michelle and I are going to be doing henna on each other for the very first time. This is Michelle. Hi. And we have a lovely expert Neha here. Hi. I have been doing henna for 23 years now. The last few years have been truly incredible. I've been able to kind of do henna outside of the box but to do it on other parts of the body and kind of think outside the box and get creative, that's like my favorite, favorite thing to do. And she's gonna be trying to keep us from ruining each other. You know, if we could not end up just like completely dyed red, that would be <laughs> cool too. I have never done henna on myself, so this will be interesting doing it on Sophia. I'm not very good at handwriting. Me neither, I was very bad at cursive. <laughs> and I was very Sorry. relieved to realize that you don't really need cursive in your like adult life. I don't know if you guys remember this, but like at the end of like the ACT test, I don't know if you guys ever took that, yeah. you have to like write like a, I didn't cheat on this exam in cursive. And yeah. I was like, how do I write in cursive now? Like 10 years after I learned how to do it. <laughs> so that's the level you're working with. Yes. Okay. Well, we, I think I think everyone's gonna do just fine. I just wanna get one flower. That would I be think, cool. Okay, so <laughs> our goal is to get one flower. What's your goal? I love like the paisley, the okay. leaves. Those are my favorite. So, so I can do any of those. paisley and a flower. I think you okay. can do that. And I also think we can incorporate some detail and I think you guys will surprise yourselves on how much detail we can get in. So to get started, we need a couple things. Definitely some paper towels, because it does get messy. Of course, the henna cones, these little handy dandy things. They're tubes, but they're basically like pastry bags and then a pair of scissors. The most critical thing is how big you cut the tip. I just want to get it to the right thickness to where you get even pressure and a nice straight line. I would cut it a little bit more. Yeah, I don't think anything's Nothing coming out. out. It's going to flow out with ease. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's a good size mm. bowl. Oh my god, I love the smell of henna. So right hand like a pencil. Right hand like a pencil. Left and then hand. the left hand, you're going to squeeze up top. This is Let already yours. I can't even get it out of here. I think your tip's so fine. Good. OK. Just me. So. Who's gonna go first? I'll go first. Go first. If I mess up really bad, we can wipe it off and just start from the beginning. Like, I look, I did this little motif on my hand. Oh, and, and it's already stained. It's just, it's nerve wracking to begin on someone else's body. Oh, Michelle, your hand's so little. I don't know what to do. I just, I have very spindly long <laughs> fingers, so you have a lot of negative you know, space. Our hands that Oh, oh my goodness. Just keep go. in mind, this isn't the video where we get of each other real tattoos. So you mentioned that you want to learn how to do the paisley. Correct? Yeah. That's a very popular design when it comes to henna. So it's kind of like an S shape. I don't know what that was. <laughs> you also have to pay attention to the orientation of the hand. Oops. It's fine, it's fine. I think you should try these henna humps yeah. around the paisley. I love that you call them henna humps. <laughs> Growing up, I would visit India often and I would get henna done all the time. And those henna humps were like so staple. Cause it's a good filler mm -hmm. and it makes it look like filigree and lace. So many humps, so little time. When you have a shape like that that you want to fill, yeah. maybe just consider putting another teardrop in there and see what happens. Eh, well. Do I need to turn my hand? Is that helpful? Ooh, maybe, yeah, yeah. The last time I got like really intense henna, that was like the last time I was like in an Indian wedding. My grandma put my hands in like cloth bags and tied oh, them. Yeah, and I slept like this and it was so itchy and uncomfortable. <laughs> and then maybe I'll just like shade in the inside. I like that. Well, it's good because it's what's happening here. <laughs> it's really almost hard. a smile. It's it really is. Pretty. It almost looks like a Monsters Inc. guy. Kind of got teeth you going over your face. The, the next paisley would be a little more like oh. a leaf and a little less like a little a little monster man. Cool. Okay, I feel like pretty decent about that. Shall we hump it? Now, where are you taking it from here? I do not know. But you could just maybe do like a vine. Just like one finger. Yeah. Why mm. not? Yeah. It's so cute. It is so small. It's just a small bean. There you go. All right. It's Ooh, finished. I think that my humps leave a little precision to be desired, but I feel like after a couple of minutes, you really do get the hang of, mm -hmm. of yeah. doing it. Like once you started going, I was like, I'm not even worried. Drive a lot of places very aggressively yes. and then just throw them the bird. Just do some quick warm up lines. I apologize in advance, but thankfully Listen. this is not a real tattoo. Yeah. I think I just want to go for the middle. Dead center. Yeah. Dead center, because that's the flattest Plain. Yes, you can do like the mandala type flower. You start with a circle. What I like to do is any design that I make, I like to frame it. Even the dot, I like to frame. I can, look at that. I can do circles. That's <laughs> okay. pretty cool. Just gotta pep tag myself through this. Yes. Okay. 
hump time. They're your humps, Michelle. Own the humps. Uh, oh. My humps, my humps. My lovely lady lumps. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember how to breathe. But I honestly think, Michelle, this is gonna turn out really cool. You put so much faith in me. I think it looks awesome. I think it'll be great. All right, now what do I do? Do you feel ambitious to add a little more detail? So we're gonna make these little trees. Basically, you start by making a dot and you drag your tube down. And then you draw another dot and you drag your tube oh, these down. Things. And you make another dot and you drag your tube down. It just makes it so dainty. Yes. Dainty and it takes song. the hard edges off. You guys might be getting a good view of my Benihana scar. I burned my hand at Benihana. Oh, that video? Yeah, and oh. it didn't It didn't make it into the final cut. It's like Tori Spelling. Yeah. yeah. This is great. You covered way more surface area than I did. I really like it. But I like feel it. like it suits both of you. Yeah. Like, right? Like yeah. each design definitely suits your totally. personality. Totally, I love it. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Oh my God, I just touched it. <laughs> Uh-oh, Michelle, you gotta help me. I can't help. With this. <laughs> it's an easy fix. Of course, as soon as I was like, we're done with the video. We're not done with the video. There we go. And we do a couple more to cover that orange. Yeah, just keep going up. This is what I do with eyeliner <laughs> too. All right, back in business. I feel like honestly, I really did think that we were just gonna fail. I'm very impressed. And you were such a good teacher, honestly. Am I really? Yeah. yeah. I hope so. Honestly, I feel like 90% of the success is from your teaching. Oh, okay. I think anyone can do it. I really, you have to like channel your inner artist and just, Go with it. It's Look at us, awesome. we're so cute. And now I just want to like do it more. Yes. I'm just gonna show up at Michelle's house like, hey, what oh. are you doing to the <laughs> So Michelle's henna came out so awesome. Look at that. The design looks really good and you can barely even tell where I smudged at the end. So I took off the henna this morning and I really, really love how it turned out. Yes, I love the detail and how dark it is. I think the color's pretty good too, though I did not leave it on overnight as it gets very crusty and you guys know that I don't like that. I like my cat's crusty, but not my henna. Hey buddy. Thank you guys so, so much for watching that video. I hope that you liked it. And if you did, be sure to click that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, click that subscribe button. Here are Neha's social media handles. Please show her some love. Okay. She is such a good henna artist and you guys will be amazed when you see even more of her work. Here are Michelle's social media handles. Check out Michelle's YouTube channel. She posts there and you can see her there and she does like cool adventure stuff and she's also like very fit. And we froze ourselves on my channel. Yes, Michelle and I filmed a couple of videos at like a really cool salt spa. Mm -hmm. um, we did cryotherapy and we did like a salt room. So you guys should definitely check right. those videos out. We were screaming. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I vlog live and do Q and A's there. Yeah. So um, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'm gonna try and not ruin this a second time. So I'm gonna be very still for a while. <laughs>